What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Michelle. I just wanted to come and say thank you so much for all of the birthday love you guys gave me on my birthday. I seriously was blown away by how much um, love and well wishes and prayers and phone calls I got on my birthday. Seriously, I felt like I was getting like this all day hug on my birthday. And I just want to tell y'all, thank y'all so much for that. You don't have to do that. I know that Facebook tells you when my birthday is, but Facebook don't make you leave a message or, or leave a comment or send me a text or a tweet or nothing like it. don't make you do that. You took time out to do that. And I want to say thank you. <laughs> I don't know where that upper octave was coming from, but thank you so much. That really meant a lot. Ironically, the day before my birthday, I spent alone. I, um, I actually set out to go to a movie by myself. Um, you know, nothing was going on. All my friends were, you know, doing their kind of Fourth of July stuff. And um, I just didn't want to be in the house. So I was like, I'm going to go to a movie. And so I did that. Little did I know that I would spend the day before my birthday alone. And then I would spend my birthday with my phone on blaze um, with all of your um, comments and messages. And again, your texts, your tweets, all that stuff. Ah, thank you all so much. I feel like I need to find somebody to love on for the next two months um, just so I can pay it forward because uh, I feel like I don't deserve that much. But thank you all so, so much. I actually got a, in my little party last night uh, that uh, still watered through for me. I, um, I actually got this little gift from a girl. Actually, she is not a girl anymore. She used to be one of my kids, but she's a grown woman now getting ready to get married and all that stuff. And um, she brought me these notepads. And um, I don't think she'll mind me reading this. On, on one of the notepads, she says, I remember one time you said, keeping it real is not an excuse for being rude. I think I actually remember when I said that. And um, this, this little gift actually means a lot to me because um, it makes me feel like something I did or something I said has, uh, has had a real positive effect on somebody's life, not just for a day or for a moment, but maybe actually even for their life. And so this actually, um, this little gift means a whole lot to me. It also means a lot to me because it reminded me of, of what's been on my heart for years. I know this video started off just to say thank you all for my happy birthday wishes, and I'm, I'm still there. Trust me, I thank you. But I got something on my heart that's a little more serious than that, and, and I want to talk to you about it while I have your attention. Many of you have heard about the Slingshot All-City Youth Conference happening on August 19th, 20th, and 21st. Maybe some of you haven't, and now's the time for you to take a listen to, what I, to what's, what's coming down the street. August 19th, 20th, and 21st is the Slingshot All-City Youth Conference. God laid it on my heart a while back that it's time now for our city, uh, for the kids of our city to have an, uh, an All-City Urban Youth Conference that really, really, really um, is for them and helps them get this kingdom stuff into their hearts. I know, you know, some of them, they got it in their mind and they got it in the textbook, but, it, you know, there's a disconnect between what's going on in the head and what's happening in the heart. And I really sincerely, with all that's in me, believe that we have to do something to help our kids understand the kingdom in their hearts. August 19th, 20th, and 21st, the Slingshot all City Youth Conference. Our tagline is, it's where the challengers, changers, and champions of the world go. We take it from 1 Samuel chapter 17, where David, a teenager, right, stands up to Goliath, the giant. We know that story. We know he, he slays a giant with what? A slingshot. But what we miss a lot of times in that, in that passage is that before he slayed the giant, he had to stand up to some challenges in the community, and he had to change himself a little bit too. Uh, before he became a champion. And so August 19th, 20th, and 21st, um, we are going to help our kids get to the heart of the matter at the Slingshot All-City Youth Conference. Listen, this conference is only $20. I don't mean $20 a day. $20 for all three days. We have general sessions on Thursday and on Friday, and then all day Saturday we're in workshops and then general sessions again. We have speakers and ministers and artists flying in from all across the country. We have Jay, we have Simo, we have Mark Wagner, we have the BGP, we have Maddie, uh, oh, what's it? Maddie Wilson, we have Eva, we have Michelle Lang and Stillwater. We just, we have so many people who are coming to help make this thing go. Sherry Jones Moffat, did I mention that? She's going to come and actually mentor our kids in worship. We cannot afford to pass this by. 
especially not for $20. August 19th, 20th, 21st. If you care about our kids growing in Christ, if you care about your youth group expanding, if you care about giving kids the time, the tools, the training, the teaching, and the transformational experience that they need, then please get them to the Slingshot All City Youth Conference. Hit me up, send me a message, leave me a comment, text me, tweet me. I know you know how to do it because hundreds of you did it on my birthday. Mm -hmm. Find me and then let's find our kids together, 400 of them, at the Slingshot All City Youth Conference. All right, love y'all. Give me a call, 206 243 5024. All right, Mwah. love you. I 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 love you. Yeah.